uh, in this module we'll talk about uh, how to use sql on the web and of course for this uh, we will use the mysql database as the database server and i'll also tell you why we have made that selection for a number of reasons what are the benefits also and then we'll very briefly talk about uh, the operations which we'll be in, uh, performing on that database so without further ado i move on and deciding start with deciding how to store the data now storing the data uh, is dependent upon number of factors and there are about six factors i'll briefly talk about uh the factors are how much data is to be stored how frequently the data is to be stored how frequently or how often the data changes and how many users will be simultaneously accessing the data what will be the growth rate of the data over a period of time and since the data is on the web it is globally accessible so from the security point of view there are always the aspects of somebody uh, breaking into your database server so there will be a loss so how much loss you are willing to sustain so these are the six factors which are taken into consideration when we decide about how we store the data now once we have decided that how we will be storing the data then there are two aspects over here are the database architectures and then the database models so when we talk about the database architectures over here we look at the embedded system now the embedded system the database is stored along with the application and it is stored on the same server on the same computer so obviously it will give very good performance because there is no connectivity uh, communication over any uh, over the net or over a network so the application is residing on the same server the database is residing on the same server and it gives very good performance obviously then is the client server model now in the client server model it is obviously the multi user model it is obviously the communication takes place over the over the network it could be internet also it could be intranet also and because by virtue of separating the client from the server it adds flexibility to this model this model is flexible but of course there will be a communication cost and degradation in performance then is the database models so we have the simple database models we have like simple associative arrays the data is stored there it is very simple it is very simple to process it is very simple to work with but it does not have the functionality and it does not have the power which is there in the relational model in the relational model we have the tables and the tables are connected together based upon the relationships based upon the foreign key relationship and of course then is the primary key also so we have these two models we have these two architectures we'll talk uh, about more detail now why uh, why different companies select mysql there so you can see on the screen the the reasons why mysql is selected mysql is the database server which we'll be covering uh, in this course and php is the application programming environment or it is the engine php engine that will be used so it is one of the most popular databases on the web and of course it's very popular it is easy to use and it is very functionality and it is freely available you can download it you can install it there is no license fee it is easy to install it is supported by different operating systems by unix by windows by mac os and the list goes on and the web hosting is very cheap which i discussed in the prior modules you have to make your application and put it with your isp or put it with your database server and it is simple to use and administrator and this point is very important that it is scalable it can be used for large projects it can be used for large applications and uh, what we'll do in the subsequent modules we will create a database using mysql uh, create table add data to it update data to it delete the data from it delete the table and also delete the database i'll show you the commands and you will understand all those things and finally making the connection how do you make the connection with the database how do you connect them there are number of ways of making the connection handling errors and reading the data and processing whatever comes your way 
so the connections can be made you can access uh, in different ways and we will discuss all the details and one thing which you will be liking to know is that uh, there are two modes one is the my one is the mysql uh, and the other is the object database mode now i will go into more details but right now what you would i would like to share with you is that in the mysql i mode it is simple to learn it is powerful to to some people but it has so much functionality that people kind of get overwhelmed by it and on the other hand is the php data objects pdo with pdo uh, it has fine functionality it is simple it is straightforward and once you become accustomed to using it then of course you can move on and uh, employ it the other modules also and things will become easy for you so that's for this module